The current eruption in the Swarsengi volcanic system in the area of the near the Little Skokfell is one of the northerly most uh, eruptions we have ever seen. Last night we had a huge spillage toward the uh, west side, practically the lava uh, course where the uh, tube or uh, flow of the lava has formed was overspilled and the lava flow in the opposite direction toward the west as far as we can see here one and two and three so these are the uh, there must be a reason for that and the reason is that we had a collapse or shattering of the wall of the volcano you can see the evidence here previously this side which is now visible and the hill is in blocking it from the view of the RUV camera is actually uh, was there it is not there anymore that cauldron the crater of the volcano was collapsed and the spillage happened in that way the lava spilled over spilled from the course of the uh, lava tube what we are seeing now is a another collapse in the daylight this is the moment of it and it shows that the cone of the volcano has grown so fast that the slope of it is in an unstable situation. It cannot hold it together. It's hot, it's a slippery, it will flow uh, like because it's almost semi-solid. It's not completely solid, it falls. Also, this debris is falling on it due to the eruption, practically are the, like a huge bag of the concrete, 20 kilogram, the smallest one, hitting the wall and then causing this collapse. I'll reverse it for you so you can enjoy that. And uh, yeah, this is a slow motion. I have a video about this situation where we had a better view in the Little Horto Volcano and the K1. <coughs> you may like to watch this. These are very interesting things. We had a better view by that time. This time, the similar thing is happening. Very vigorous activity at the moment, it seems we have here. The overflow of the lava, which has started tonight, just a few hours ago, has now stopped. Strangely enough, this was continuing to the dark. It happened during the afternoon hours. And then it continued to the darkness of the night. Beautiful scene. You can see molten lava, something as dense of, as concrete, hitting the wall of the crater. Then suddenly it stopped. No more flow from this direction, which is toward the west. Then from behind, this is what we will see. A lava stream flowing from the north side of the crater and then a stream of stars from the eastern side oozing down lava from both directions. The crater is practically shattered, is broken apart. The walls are collapsing. You can see here a biggest part on the top already has collapsed. The small one now collapses also. You will see it now just in a few seconds as you Oh, we are waiting yet. Yeah, that's the moment it happened. Then a huge eruption. I will go closer to show you this. Unfortunately, because of the bad, bad weather, we were not able actually to see it. Look at this. It's look, looking like a molten metal inside a steel factory. The direction of the wind shows that the wind is very strong. So no drone probably was in the air to record this. But we have seen this before. Once again, in the Little Hoto volcano, this volcano, this one, which I have named as K1, is located at the boundary of the Eurasian plate and the North American plate. I, I draw the line. The line is defined by these earthquakes. No Eurasian plate, Grindovic is on it, and North American plate is Sorsengi and the rest of the uh, uh, Reconis Peninsula. As you can see, there was a tick, uptick, on the amount of the tremors and also in the uplift in the sword Sengi. Interesting enough, this was similar to what we have seen previously. From the Little Hoto volcano, as you can see here, we have this uh, footage from the previous eruption. Amazing. This is the RUV camera showing you that. And this, interesting enough, happened during the springtide when the moon is in the new phase.